Hey there, boys and girls. Your salty Alaskan Rambo once again. <laughs> well, they chemtrailed us again. Yep. Sure did. It was a nice sunny morning. Clear blue skies every single time. They're like, oh, it's going to rain tomorrow. And then it's like you see the jet go by and you see the fucking... It's not like the jet streams when we were kids where it's like, eh, and it dissipates real quick. You know, it just disappears. Now this shit is fucking... This is, this is our government doing this to us constantly. It's almost like we became a test site because it was like a real muggy 65 degrees earlier. Now it's like barely into the 50s. It's getting chilly, all that stuff, which is fine by me because there's no snow. It's not raining yet, but I think we've had enough rain. Our ground is so saturated because of all the rain. I've been just pumping water nonstop for the past, uh, going on three weeks now, a couple weeks now, uh, since I dug out the uh, foundation because we were wanting a nice little six to four foot, nice concreted in little crawl space uh, under our bedroom addition. And yeah, that's not going to happen. Uh, not anytime soon. I'm going to have to just post and beam everything and then enclose it next year because it doesn't look like we're getting any... Uh, <laughs> like the ground's going to dry out this year after all of our snow and last year the ground never even froze so yeah it's caused a lot of issues especially all the snow load that we had but you know besides everything going on all the stupid fucking crap with the trump and oh coke in the white house and fucking it's like you know china's gonna invade taiwan Nasty Pelosi was already over there last year securing her, you know, her investments with uh, all your tax dollars, all of my tax dollars, all of everyone's tax dollars. It's like, quit paying fucking taxes. This is America, not a fucking patriarchy, not a monarchy, and it's not a democratic fucking, it's not a democracy. What the fuck? This two-party system needs to fucking go. You know, clean your clean your fishing poles. Make sure you got lots of lead weights. <laughs> Look. Make sure they're all accurate, you know, so you can catch what you're aiming for. Yeah. Anywho. I think the mosquitoes are starting to come out. Probably because I'm talking. They're attracted to that. But, you know, all this climate change and stuff. It's like, well... The plants and the trees like it, you know, especially when there's deforestation going on all the play all over the place. China's trying to buy up all this farmland and shit, and it's like, duh. Do you not get what's going on? You're not seeing what's happening. The country's been sold out for <laughs> a long time. Over a hundred years easily, and it's only gotten worse, and history keeps repeating itself. It's just normalized now that, you know, people get to shake their junk in front of little kids, and parents are okay with that, and that that's the most sickening part right there, but that's, it's all the fucking, it's all part of the game plan. You know, criminalize you for pointing out the criminalization and everything of what, the, what they're already doing. And all this harp, it's just smart meters on everyone's place. And I think the dumbest motherfucking thing is, so why the fuck is there a Wi-Fi electronic unit connected to your gas line? They don't talk about how many people's places fucking burned down because of all that. And then insurance, uh, all these claims, is just a fucking revolving door of all these banks and the interest market and stuff, which brings you to the CBE. DCs and everything, like the, the, the digital currency shit that they're trying to push everyone to. And everyone's so used to just taking out their card. I'm a cash guy. Cash is king. I still believe in gold. Gold is my thing. I came from a long line of prospectors. I've lived in Alaska all my life. I was born and raised. My entire mom's side of my family is born and raised in Alaska. We're the indigenous people here. I feel like the one of the, the, the last of the Indians. That's why I just tell everyone it's like, hey, 
They're like, what what Eskimo tribe you come from? I'm like, I'm you prick. You prick neighbor, yeah. I'm that you prick, you know, I'm not you pick or you you pit or or in you put it's like no. I'm you prick neighbor. Cause I ain't standing for none of this and our all of our native Alaskans and Alaskan Indians have just sold the fuck out. And then you got trooper planes flying over all the fucking time. It's like, oh yeah, climate change my fucking ball sack. They, what the fuck? Let's go admit carbon. You know, they're, they're using fucking avgas to fly these little planes around here just to govern our asses a little bit more. While I got pictures of a fucking neighbor on the other end of the trail about four miles away through the woods on the other end that uh, had to call up the troopers and fish and wildlife services because someone at that end which is still part of our naval land and Alaska is tribal land they fucking it's been stolen and sold by my cousins my brothers and sisters my elders they fucking sold the fuck out all the kids sold the fuck out they're all these newbie fucking skinny jean wearing fucking what the fuck airpods in their ears getting brain cancer and shit and they're all fucking swipe swipe up and down swipe left and right fucking shorts and everything the attention span so fucking it's just gone like you can't sit there and watch something for 30 minutes you can't sit there and watch something for longer than five seconds at a time or you know a minute it's insane you the smart meters gas meters you know uh, all these devices, 5G, they're trying to roll out 6G all over the fucking place. Well, that, that that's just part of the... <laughs> I'm not buying another fucking piece of shit phone. It's bad enough that I have this one as it is. But, you know, it's all this downfall to society because of all this technology and shit and people using it the wrong way. And just everyone's so... You know, the the... The crime is an addiction, drugs are an addiction, drinking's an addiction, smoking cigarette, you know, tobacco is an addiction, but, you know, smoking a cigar here and there, it's like, oh yeah, you know, I like my cigars, I've always liked cigars, uh, I got my own tobacco seeds, but supposedly it's supposed to up testosterone, I think I got way more than enough testosterone, because my wife's got to tell me to chill the fuck out, everyone, you calm the fuck down, I'm like, alright, alright. We're cool. But you don't want to get her going. She's a fucking redhead, man. And I love... I love redheads. <laughs> They're so fiery. So awesome. But, hmm. Really couldn't ask for a better life. I mean, our, our grandkids are doing good. Our kids are doing good. I wish they were here in Alaska. But, you know, we're doing good. Our 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 close friends and family is doing good. Had a birthday party for my handicapped brother um, just a couple days ago on Monday. And it was excellent. And I hadn't seen him in over five years because of our system fucking over. It's not just our veterans that they fuck with and don't take care of. They don't take care of our handicap. They don't. There's the, they shut down all the asylums. They shut down all the shit and and. You know, the real people with uh, single and double digit IQs are the ones that should be in jail, i.e. our government. You know, those fuckers. Not, not my brother. That was forced into taking medications to calm him down or whatnot. And, and uh, you know, and then all these uh, medical tyranny with the rollout of the fucking the coof jabs and shit and it's like oh, man, man so many HIPAA violations right there it's like oh you got your vaccine passport it's like <laughs> fuck you pure blood here man ain't taking no vaccines why nature has its way of, of rebooting itself and you know, if you eat properly and you eat off the land, and that's what I'm basically just here to talk to you about, and, you know, a little comedy here and there. It's, uh, I've been pretty calm lately. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't been wanting to curb stomp too many people in the fucking face, and, you know, 
<laughs> I like saving my rounds. But, you know, just uh, trying to concentrate on the real things like prepping. I mean, Dan Bongino is not not wrong. Uh, Black Scout survival is not wrong with be prepared but you, you should always be prepared anyways and then you hear about oh at least have three months of food no I, I plan on living the rest of my fucking life no problem in the fucking woods I mean what the hell <clears throat> three months of food but I'm also pretty privileged living where I do in Alaska and pretty much anywhere of Alaska there's lots of resources we got fish we got clams we got I mean I'm not far from the salt water uh, I'm not far from all the lakes. I can go fishing. We got rivers all over the place full of fucking salmon. You know, I just choose my times to go where I can, you know, have a little peace and tranquility when I go out catching. And plus the fireweed, everything's so late this year that the fireweed hasn't even barely started blooming. And this Indian right here goes with the fireweed and goes with the vegetation and that's when, you know, I just go, I spend a few minutes, I get my, get what I need for the day, and I process all that, because it takes far longer to process everything, and do everything, than it does to actually gather it, and that's where the time-consuming part comes in, so I, I am very privileged to have so much time on my hands, I help a lot of people, uh, I've been trying to stay at home a lot more, um, we got smaller engine vehicles, you know, like uh, side by side and we got four wheelers and we got snow machines for the winter and everything. We call them our iron dogs or sleds, you know, and you know, they, they don't take much to get a long distance and tow a lot of stuff either. And I've been putting my side by side to the, to the test and that thing's almost like bottomless tank for barely being a 10 gallon tank. But you know, it's things like that. Save the vehicle. For heavy shit and hauling big loads of anything, uh, gravel, rock, sand, you know, uh, hauling wood, lumber, you know, super huge loads. And I like having my trucks. I'm a fucking Chevy guy. I'm a fucking made in America, man. I like my, but I love my Toyotas too. And we got one of those. So, you know, it's all about uh, help your community out as much as you can. Get rid of the people that are bad in your communities. And it's up to the people. It's up to all of you to make the difference. Uh, you can't depend on your government. I don't know why anyone would depend on anyone else in the first fucking place. You need to fucking be set and help those that can't do something for themselves that are still beneficial to a community you know, i.e. our elders, so help an elder out, definitely help a veteran out, and protect all the children, these are not the government's kids, these are our children, and they should be brought up correctly, truthfully, and common sense right, you know, educate them properly, educate them on real things like nature, uh, it's good to know history and the backgrounds of stuff, you know, it's like, that RFK Jr., he backs Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton. And I don't care which of these parties are doing what with who or against who or whatnot. The two-party system has never worked. It is just a way to segregate everyone. And it's us real people out there that can have differences and talk about it in a calm manner and actually get a little bit of insight from each other because not everyone always thinks the same not everyone can live together like I said I'm extremely blessed to have met my wife and we're best friends and everything's good even if we get a little pissy with each other sometimes it's like well what is this really so what's got oh it's just because of, and it's usually always other people stressing one of us out or something and you get a little agitated or something's not are you not feeling good you know, things happen, but if you communicate with each other and do the right thing for each other and, and quit being so selfish and only see into the tip of your nose, then life's going to be a lot better for you. And, and plus, take care of your gut health. You know, eat a lot, pickle your vegetables, um, 
can them, uh, can your meats. Uh, d just there's lots of ways of doing things without electricity. I mean, we got here some somehow, right? It's not like pioneers were packing around generators and in, in their wagon trains and fucking you know had freezers and shit. There's ways of preserving your meats. There's ways of preserving everything that you don't need refrigeration or freezing it is nice to stockpile some shit up and like i was telling the wife today it's it, privileges are awesome i really do love all these privileges but we'd be a lot healthier and a lot better off if we didn't have to go tend to everyone all the time or have a job or you know she's in real estate for mossy oak and it, it, the only ones that aren't part of the fucking Realtors Association, which is no more than like a homeowners association. It's just garbage. And at the same time, like I told my wife, I'm like, as an Indian, it's like, you know, your job is just like the medical field she was in before, helping people out and just how ridiculous all that was. I'm so glad she got out of that before the fucking COVID fucking pandemic bullshit. Um, it's like you know you you uh, you're just selling stolen land, but you know what? I'll take your paycheck, and I'll go buy us wheelers, and we'll go buy more land, and uh, we'll just go steward the land over here, and we'll have this, and and it's all for my kids. It's like well, whatever. Belly the beast that exists. The indigenous here in America and Alaska totally sold out. It's still an ongoing thing. Most people don't even know that the federal government and the fucking Indians have been battling for fucking decades, uh, even since before the 1972 Indian Act. And then it's still, they're not upholding what's going on. Look at our fucking oil fields, our, our lands. It's like, yep. Alaska's tribal land, just like the rest of America, so... I don't know what the fuck beef is against, uh, you know, all these fucking wokeonomics and fucking stupid dildo polishing fucking <laughs> degrees that everyone's getting from college and shit. It's like, what are you actually contributing to this society? Go to trade school if you're going to go to any school. Or just get a fucking job in the trades and do something for real like building, farming, uh, manufacturing, you know, something that's actually useful to people. Not a computer fucking job, and not all that shit. It's like, Jesus fucking Christ, our goddamn government. It's like, you just look at the House of Representatives, just at all, right there. There, So there's over 430 House of Reps, representatives. I didn't vote these fucking pricks in. And, uh, you know, they got multiple staff members so what is the what is the payout just for their all the all just that house of representatives annual salary all put together and their staffers and it's millions of fucking dollars this is nonsense and bullshit all these fucking public uh, servants and shit shouldn't be getting paid no more than the same salary of the average american tax paying citizen they can go get a second fucking job they're already doing insider trading. It's like, look at uh, Ocasio Cortex, fucking Sandy bitch ass, with her fucking Latin booty or whatever. She was fucking washed out, fucking. Who knows if she even bartended? I I can't see that chick even bar backing. She's fucking retarded. She's not even fucking fuckable or anything. It's fucking what the hell? Uh, Mister Ed wouldn't even fuck that bitch, and he's a horse was a horse. I mean, that was a long time ago. <laughs> Shit, I just aged myself. <laughs> but, yeah, these people are socialists and commies, and that they become millionaires over fucking night, and they didn't do a goddamn thing for it. Not like uh, us that are out there, you know, like my grandparents and shit. Well to do, well off, because they were smart about things, and, you know, you look... That do things in your life that benefit the future of our children and our grandchildren so they can have the life that we did have in the 80s and 90s which were two wonderful decades the uh, 70s were great too but the 80s and 90s was just like 
there was nothing wrong until the Bushes got in there and the Clintons and Obamas and everything fucked off the 2000s and now we're up in the 2023. It's fucking nuts. It's fucking crazy. You know, watching movies as a kid about things 20 years ago was the future <laughs> in movies. Now it's now, and now even watching some of the older movies from the 90s, it was like, uh, like Terminator Salvation and shit. I mean, that's just like, pfft, not even a broad span kind of movie or whatnot. It was just part of the franchise, but it was still only like 2018 when that was like the outcome. And then, and then you look at all the cities and all the shit and all this Antifa crap and all these paid fucking goons and climate activists gluing their shit. They're, they're just pawns. They're just little puppets, and they're trying to get them all fucking killed. They're, get them, they're trying to get them all hurt, so then they can come at all of us for fucking standing up for ourselves. So, just stay safe, stay salty, stay vigilant, stay frosty, and stay strapped, America. As, you know, it's never going to be the same again, but we can get it back if we really, truly want it. And that that can happen so there's hopium still all right we'll catch you next time thanks for watching I probably elongated this a little bit longer than I needed to but you know there's so many things to talk about so cheers it's your salty Alaskan Rambo out